So we need to recognize our value. We need to, when we are on our own, once in a while, when we are on our own at home, once in a month, once in a week, ask ourselves that you are Hafiz of the Qur'an, you are Alim of the Qur'an, you are Hamilul Qur'an, you are from the Ahlul Qur'an. Allah has been so kind to you. Are you fulfilling the rights of being the Hamilul Qur'an? Hafizul Qur'an. We all have shortcomings. We all have our shortcomings. In this world we all have ups and downs. But until we do not keeping the hereafter in mind, keeping the grave in mind, ask questions. And after asking questions, contemplating, if we do not come to some kind of conclusion, then we will be in trouble. But if you, if we do not become neglectful of the hereafter, and if we continue to question ourselves, who am I? What am I? How do the public perceive me? So none huffas should decide one Jews daily. And the huffas should decide three Jews. And some of us become so neglectful and we make our life so busy in other matters that never mind three Jews, never mind three Ruku, we are unable to even recite three ayat. Days and months pass, pass but we are unable to complete the glorious Quran. Quran is difficult to put to memory, but it is, it is very easy to lose it from memory. And once we lose it, then we can't pull ourselves together. And we just don't realize what a great ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that, that we, have, we have lost. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said that, uh, it is the riwayah of Tirmidhi Sharif, that Jibreel alayhi salam came to me and he came with two lists. On one list were all the good deeds that a person can perform in this world. On the other were all the uh, evil deeds that a person can do in this world. He said at the top of the list of the evils, I, I saw written that a person who memorizes a portion of the Quran and thereafter forgets. A person memorizes a portion of the Quran, say Surah al Fil or Surah al Fatiha, or in Makati, a lot of people memorize Surah al Mulk, Surah al Yasin. And people tend to think that the warning for forgetting the Quran that have been mentioned by the Prophet wasallam are only for those people who have become complete huffas, no? Even one verse. If a person memorizes a portion of the Qur'an, an ayat from the Qur'an, and thereafter he forgets the Prophet ﷺ said, that sin was top of the list. And according to some Mufassirin, the tafsir of these verses, Man arada an dhikri, one who turns his face away from my Qur'an, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ذَنْكَ Then for him will be a life full of difficulties. Life full of difficulties. Now, life full of difficulties, he will have dollars, pounds, good house, good car, everything. But he will not feel content. Peace of mind will not be there. Sometimes wife will become a problem, children will become problem, some other problem, some illness, some sickness, some, some tension will always remain with him. He will have a very rough life. فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ذَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ عَامَ and we will resurrect him on the day of Qiyamah as a blind person. He will be blind on the day of Qiyamah. He will be struggling to walk. He will be struggling to find, find his destination. And he will say, Rabbi lima hashartani ama waqad kuntu basira. Oh Allah, my eyes were perfect in the world. Why have you resurrected me as a blind person? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Kadalika atatka ayatuna fanasitaha. My ayat came to you. My ayat, that means my ayat came to you and I gave you the tawfiq to memorize those, those ayat and make your heart the treasure of those ayat. But you neglected those ayat. So today on the day of Qiyamah, I will neglect you. You will be neglected today. 
So this is the first thing we need to do. We need to recognize our value and start the recitation of the Quran. I, I tell my Huffa's friend that Shaitan will always worry you and he will say that yes it is necessary, it is a big sin that I have forgotten the Quran and I want to memorize it but it's too difficult, I've forgotten the whole Quran. If it was possible to memorize the Quran the very first time, then the second time it's even more easier. It's only Shaitan putting this obstacle. So make this intention that okay, I'm going to re-revise and revisit the, the, the Quran and find an Ustad, find a, 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 a fellow Hafiz, a colleague and say to him that can you listen to one Ruku every day? Or whatever I am able to read. In the initial stages you will come with three ayat, four ayat, five ayat and, and then look at the Baraka. Then look at the Baraka. Within a year, year and a half you will have the full Quran under control inshallah. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا قُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ We have made Qur'an easy to memorize. Is there anybody who wishes to memorize? When a person repents, sincerely turns to Allah. And thereafter continue recitation. Continue recitation of the Qur'an. Continue recitation of the Qur'an. Layani. We spend a lot of time in layani. Something that neither benefits us in this world nor in the hereafter. That is a sheer waste of life sheer waste of life. Something that doesn't benefit in this world nor in the hereafter. We just sit in talking about politics, talking about football, talking about cricket for hours and hours. One hour, two hours, three hours. So, sinful activity should be discarded. Layani should also be discarded. Layani, we are young, we like to sit with friends and talk, maybe go out for a picnic. Okay, fine. But limit your time. Not without thinking. Layani should also be discarded. And we need to behave in such a way that our ulama and our pious predecessors used to behave, especially with the public. And there are so many wrong things that we, we can do when we are alone in the darkness of the night. Especially the internet is very, very dangerous. Internet is very, very dangerous for religious people. For irreligious people, they don't have to go on, onto the internet to do wrong. They are already doing it outside, openly. For religious people, night time and internet is very dangerous. Because your intention will be to go and look at the news on BBC, and slowly, 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 you will drift away. There are so many religious people who come, who are spiritually connected and who complain and say, this is my problem. And until 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, the person is on the net. Tahajjud is on one side, he cannot even wake up for Fajr Salat. So what we need to do is worry about ourselves, have concern for ourselves. If we don't have concern for ourselves, who is going to have concern for ourselves? And we have to always remember, Umar Radhi Allah who used to say, Hasibu qabla antu hasabu. Reckon yourself before you are reckoned on the day of Qiyamah. Vazinu qabla antu zanu and value yourself before you are valued by Allah on the day of Qiyamah. Wa ta'ahabu lil aradil akbar and prepare yourself for the supreme gold that is to come in the hereafter. This is where I would like to end. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq wa akhir da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa jamaah.